Hi, welcome to another episode of Driveway Talk. I'm Ron Anderson, your host, and today our cameraman is Dick Schreiber. And we're down at uh, uh, downtown St. Paul at Wilkins Auditorium. I believe this is River Place. Uh, and who are you, sir? My name is Joe Mitchell. I'm one of the reps of uh, Midwest Customs, Inc. And we're, we're actually hosting our fourth annual custom car show this year. Pretty proud of it. Oh, and hi, Joe. I'm Ron Anderson. Glad, Glad to meet you, Joe. Glad to meet you. And uh, now this is, is this River Place? This is Touchstone Energy Center, um, connected oh, okay. to the Excel Center here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay. And um, this is our fourth year, actually our second year at Touchstone Energy Center. Um, we are, you know, pretty, again, pretty proud. We're trying to start... Um, Getting the car shows something more, something more that the the, the, the younger people can grasp on. Um, um, as a matter of fact, it is for all ages. As a matter of fact, not just for youngsters. But at first, it started out being just a low rider custom car show, right. and now it has branched into all different type of cars and whatnot. It's kind of comparable to. Um, go low entertainment low rider show that they do you know on the circuit it tends to skip Minnesota but now we've carved ourselves you know a niche here where the, you know, the patrons have starting to look forward to actually seeing it here every year so we're pretty proud of, of what we're doing here and we plan to be here again next year um, and you said this is your fourth year. This is the fourth annual Midwest uh -huh. Customs Car Show. I see people of all ages here. I see people of all nationalities. This looks like a very fun event, mm -hmm. and uh, we're we're happy that we're invited down here. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're going to be filming cars and the low riders, and hopefully to catch some of the hip hoppers and dancers mm -hmm. and everything else. Yes. Uh, I don't know what we can do in the way of entertainment, but uh, mm -hmm. this uh, driveway talk is a, a program about old cars and street rods right. and hot rods and jumpers and dancers and right, everything right. like that. Yes. But Joe, uh, we're, we're going to uh, look around here and we're going to play some uh, music to the cars and everything. Okay, and cool. Is there anything more you want to say about your event? Sure. Um, it's also what it's part of is that, again, the Ground Control Entertainment mm -hmm. puts on the function every year. Sure. Um, ground Control Entertainment also is a company that we do, we produce music, we do record demos, and today I have um, my groups here that are gonna be performing as well, as well as a group VIP from um, Atlanta that oh. just was previously signed, which is a good friend of mine that owned that group. So, as you know, we, it's also, a, along with the Midwest Customs deal, where we build the cars and we showcase the cars, sure. also I have branched into the promoting area where we tend to get into music and promote music and get local acts to, to be able to be seen a little bit more. So we're pretty happy about it. We're really, we're really proud of it. Um, it, it gives, the, the, it gives the, the younger people a chance to be able to showcase their music as to where they may not be able to otherwise. Um, I've made it possible, have a studio in Prior Lake, Minnesota, where I've started to solicit a lot of local acts. Mm -hmm. And as before that, um, a lot of the local acts was just stuck with no way to turn to, um, to get their demos out or to promote their demos. And this sure. is the way that we do it. We kick the door in by having a custom event like this. And then we get the crowd here. And then we showcase the acts in front of sure. that crowd. And then we sell the CDs at the venue and whatnot. And then people get to know about it. And hopefully someday those acts will sure. get a, a record deal or something of that nature. Nature. Well, I know you got a lot of good entertainment coming up, yes. but uh, we're going to go check out some cars here. And, okay. Uh, Joe, it's a pleasure talking with my you. Pleasure. And my pleasure. And I know Anytime. you worked very hard at this event. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for having us. So. Well, we, we invite everybody it. next year who misses it this year to okay. mark that on your calendar and come okay. on down. Is it held every year at the same time? It's, well, it's, it varies. It varies uh -huh. because other... You know, we try to work around other major sure. events. Sometimes we don't like to collide. Sometimes, of course, it's a, sure. a marketing strategy, you know, to try not to collide with another big car show or anything like that. But it's within a month each year. Last year it was sure. July this month. It's, I mean, this year it's June, excuse me. Um, but it's, you know, it's a pretty big event. Yeah, we do it every year. This is our, this is our fourth year running, but it's our second year at Touchstone Energy Place. And we're working it into the, working it into the, um, in, in the order to, do the same thing for next sure. year as well. So. Okay, Joe, well, we're going to go look at some cars, and okay. thank you very much, Thank buddy. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on along.
Well, here we are. Uh, we played a little music for you folks, and we're sitting down with somebody. Who are you, sir? Lynn Anderson. Hi, Lynn. I'm Ron Anderson. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet now, you. Uh, you live in my neighborhood, and, and our paths have crossed before, and I always wanted to talk to you about your art. Okay. You do uh, airbrushing, right? Right. And uh, you have a shop on 66 in Bloomington. Right. And what do you do? Now, these are uh, beautiful artistic uh, pieces here on hoods and uh, different pieces of metal and jackets. Right, uh, right. How did you get into airbrushing and painting like this? Did you go to school? Or? Um, I did go to school. I graduated from Bemidji State University with a degree in technical illustration, graphic designs. So but I, I mean, I've been painting for as long as I can remember. As long as I can remember and paint on, you know, just about anything. You know, these are the hoods and trunks, tailgates, leather, walls, anything. Helmets, you got a helmet helmets, there? Helmets, yeah, I do helmets. Grab yeah, that helmet more. there. What's involved in painting something like this? Is it, do you paint the whole thing one color first? Um, yeah, because this used to be yellow. Oh. It was a um, yellow plastic <laughs> on the inside. And um, just paint them white first and then uh, just go in with your design. And then uh, just put a clear coat over them. How long would it paint, uh, take you to paint uh, something like this? Um, hour, maybe two hours. That's it? Wow. Yeah. That's with, that's with talent. If you didn't have the talent, it would take you all day. True. Uh, <laughs> True. Well, that's great. Yeah. Let's talk about your hood back here. Okay. Okay. Uh, over here, Lynn, we have this. This is one of my favorites right here. Right. Uh, did you take that from a live model, or did you just draw this face, or? Um, like most of the things I do is just freehand. It is. Um, yeah, I can do a lot of faces, um, wildlife, and different things like that. I can do those freehand, you know, without looking at anything, really. Boy, this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, geez, that is pretty. And that goes on the hood of a, or what is that a hood off of? I couldn't even tell you. You don't know. <laughs> This is hoods. I just grab hoods from uh, auto body shops or junkyards and stuff like that and just, just start painting on them. God, that's gorgeous. That belongs in a restaurant or, or a museum or a bar or something where people can hang it up and look at it. Sounds good to me. Okay, and then uh, uh, what's this over here? You got a wolf over here. Yeah, uh, this is uh, one of the wildlife scenes. Um, a lot of the shows I go to, a lot of the people want to see, you know, wildlife work versus... Uh, you know, a female or like there's one down there with a dragon and stuff on it, just uh -huh. something more subtle. Sure. So that's why I put the wildlife one together. And you're here today to sell your pieces or do art. Art, if somebody wants something drawn on a car, then you do that, right? Right. Mainly just, you know, promotion work. Sure. Right. Yeah, well, I've been in your store and I tell you, you got some beautiful things there. Uh, so like on this hood here, this wolf, how long does it take you to do something like that? A week or what? Um, the wolf hood, I could, I could do in a day. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really I could do in a day. It take me a week to do that. But I mean, I can sit down at a hood for you know eight, ten hours, but, and not even know that you know I've sat down for that long. Because I like seeing the finished product, so I usually sure. don't stop till it's done. Sure. Uh, okay, and then you got some jackets here. So if somebody brings you in some jackets, and you do custom jackets too. Custom jackets, yep, leather. Um, some vinyl, stuff like that, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, is it, this is your car here, isn't it, this Mustang? Yeah, 66 Mustang. Let's walk to the back and look at your uh, uh, trunk deck lid there. Okay. You like lightning like I like lightning.